Welcome back, everyone. Sunshine and just a few clouds today. The calm before the storm. And yet it continues to be cold as well. The one two punch. So the Weather Service has issued a winter storm watch starting tomorrow evening. Not this evening, but tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. You have all night tonight, all day tomorrow for things to be going on. Your Christmas shopping and such. Uh, the snow won't get here until after sunset. And then it goes until late Sunday night into early Monday morning. This prolonged event will drop about 6 to 9 inches of snow across southeastern Wisconsin. It's not going to be overly heavy at any one point. It's just that it's going to be snowing for such a long time that it does accumulate. As I mentioned, a clear sky with a few puffy fair weather cumulus clouds. Temperature only 25 degrees. It's about 10 degrees below normal, and that is not including that northwesterly wind at 10 to 20. Still a little brisk outside. Some clouds to the north and to the west, but the storm system that we're tracking has been causing all kinds of problems out in the mountains and the Seattle and Portland. It is a long way away from us, and that's why it's not going to get here until tomorrow evening. So tomorrow, as I mentioned, you have the day to do your shopping or your errands around town. And then it's tomorrow evening when that snow begins and it will continue to snow on Sunday. Now, yesterday I was thinking this would be out of here before the noon hour and then things would start to improve. You might even see a little afternoon sunshine. This thing is slowing down big time. It'll be with us throughout the day on Sunday. But once again, it's still quite a ways off to the west. So make sure you stay tuned for updates this evening with John Milan. And of course, tomorrow morning with Brian Nizansky and Scott Steele tomorrow evening as well. Very cold next week behind this storm system. And this is what you can expect when you wake up Sunday morning. It's going to start snowing tomorrow evening and you wake up the two to three inches of snow. Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties, a huge chunk of southeastern Wisconsin, three to four inches, and then off to the southwest, about four to five inches, including Lake Geneva, Janesville, and even out towards Madison and Platteville. Once again, you wake up on Sunday morning about one to two up north and then a little bit more to the south, but it's going to keep snowing now. So instead of the three to four that I thought we'd get yesterday, now we're going to pick up an additional three to four inches of snow for about five to six inches of snow to the north and from Green Lake to Sheboygan and seven to eight, maybe even close to nine inches of snow along the state line. But seven to eight inches look to be very common across southeastern Wisconsin. Lesser amounts to the north, but everyone's getting snow out of this across the state. A good four, five, even six inches of snow in central Wisconsin. Green Bay is going to pick up about five and a half inches of snow out of this as well. And yesterday thinking that this would start tapering off during tailgating and during the game it would be fine. But now you're going to have to deal with the snow during the game and driving home from the game as well later in the evening. But by tailgating, there'll be a couple of inches of snow on the ground, 26 degrees. It's going to be chilly. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 20s with that light snow continuing during the game. It's going to be awesome inside the stadium, a snow globe once again with a light breeze, but the drive home looks to be rather stressful. So just keep that in mind that the snow, roads will be snow covered, 41, 43, and 57 coming back home down here on the Milwaukee area and heavier snow as you go to the south. Northwest winds right now are 10 to 15, even gusting to 20. That's keeping those wind chills, unfortunately, into the teens across the area. And tonight we will drop into the single digits and teens. The wind dies down, but still strong enough to put wind chills into the single digits by morning. Future forecast quiet tonight. Quiet for most of tomorrow. Here's what it is at noon tomorrow. And even at 6 o'clock, you're still looking at the snow to the southwest in the southwestern corner of the state. And then as the night wears on, we start to see those snow showers. We'll get a little bit of a break midday before the second wave kicks in in the afternoon. And we'll pick up that additional snowfall. So here's your seven day forecast. 24 today, 23 tomorrow with the snow developing after sunset. 30 with snow all day on Sunday. So we'll have a little bit more sticky snow on Sunday. 31 and flurries on Monday. And that's the warmest it gets. Here comes the colder temperatures. We're talking teens for highs on Wednesday and Thursday, maybe even single digits well inland.